Hello to everybody watching and listening, and welcome back to one more match of Mechabellum that I played with memory serves this very morning before work, and it was an absolutely, um, well, um, you can probably gather what happens from the title alone. Uh, I still have absolute problems dealing with rhinos. Rhinos, in my mind, are absolute menaces sometimes. I'm not sure how high quote unquote my win quota against rhinos in the flank is but i would actually guess like if somebody hard commits to rhinos and also puts them in the flanks my win ratio has got to be like maybe 10 percent at best if i've even played 10 games against that because uh they are so rare it's actually hard to get some training against it which may or may not explain everything i guess so what's happening I'm opening up with Arc Lights in front of the Phoenixes, some Crawlers stacking on one side because I think with Phoenix starts, that is just, you kind of need to do that. I won't count it as against uh, uh, any rules or something like that, I usually don't want to stack too much, but uh, with Phoenixes you kind of need it because they are best if you have a lot of them uh, in the same place. First round, my opponent's Phoenix is actually split, which means that this Arclight unfortunately cannot eat the entire amount of, uh, well, everything. However, it's not a particularly big deal, I think it is, because uh, these Arclights alone can probably finish everything else up. And uh, on top of that, I'm getting the tower debuff before these guys can get my own tower down. And now that they do, there's basically none left. So really good first round next turn i'm thinking hmm, what to do here what to do here assault scorpion there's not really any real purpose in it missile device specialist i never take that anyway i'm not sure if i've ever taken it so haste module seems like a good idea because i'm looking at my money and even with that i can still afford to put an arc light down and another phoenix no problem whatsoever I put those down, but I don't use the haste module yet, because uh, realistically, I think the haste module would just make my phoenixes run in front of the arc lights. And what would my arc lights really do earlier in the fight before the crawlers, potentially? They would just eat damage. And the haste module on the crawlers, like for real, would just waste the deployment. So it's not really worth for me. I just put my units down. My opponent is putting more phoenixes down and more chaff, it seems. I'm just not really sure that is a good idea. He's getting an arc light, which is definitely the best idea he's had this game so far, I would say. But let's see how much it actually does. So, the fight starts. My Phoenix is engaged just about the time that the chef engages and my arc lights engage, so I would say that my timing is actually pretty bang on. However, unfortunately, he has too much chaff, even for my arc lights on this side, so his forces kind of just ran through my own forces. Now, this Phoenix was a little undecided what to do, but uh, yeah, this is like he gets an absolute banger of an engagement uh, here under the tower degradation. So there's really not much happening for me this turn. The added chaff really was worth it for him. Next turn. Oh. Deployment Specialist, Enhancement Module, both good. I'm not really feeling the Titans, uh, not Titans, the Giants just yet. So I'm taking the Enhancement Module. I can't level anything here, but if you look at the Phoenixes, uh, at least this Phoenix is pretty close to leveling. This Arclight is pretty close to leveling. This Arclight is pretty close to leveling. So while I might not get use out of it immediately, I should be able to get use out of it pretty soon. My opponent is getting Deployment Specialist. I'm throwing down some tanks because I'm thinking, huh, I need a front line. In retrospect, I probably should have put them opposite to the Mustangs, uh, which was a mistake on my part. I, like, if I look at my unit choices and everything, I think I'm playing pretty solid. But what I'm really, really, really lacking is um, experience and awareness as far as positioning goes. I think out of everything, that is holding me back the most. And probably a super unreasonable uh, OCD-like compulsion to make everything symmetrical as much as it is human possible. Well, in any case, with the added chaff here, 
and the crawlers actually filtering through the tanks, which means that they will be split even worse for the arc lights. Uh, battles turn out better at least, but as you can see, there still is not enough chaff here to make this work. However, uh, it is, it is a lot better. Just two phoenixes left. However, will they once again get an absolutely amazing engagement? No, they will not, because I will take this tower, and they can't get this tower down before they are both down. So I win this turn, and uh, not too much damage. Next turn. Scorpions, hackers, rhinos, overlords. I don't really like the overlords against phoenix. There's nothing really to hack here. The rhinos? <laughs> Uh, I should probably have been worried about it, uh, but I'm thinking more like, well, let's at least blow something up with the scorpions. And my opponent is uh, having none of that. He just goes for the rhinos. This is where everything falls apart. In retrospect, I probably should have... Yeah, well, I there was no way to know. But if I had to choose, I would choose to level the other phoenixes, probably not even rebuy them, and instead get uh, uh, these phoenixes higher levels. My opponent also pulls. And he's adding a third rhino in the flank here. This is the turn where everything is going south. So. Here, yeah, nothing really is happening because, unfortunately, my scorpion is opposite to some crawlers and he, of course, shoots them first. He can't even get a second shot off, I think. Uh, maybe a third shot off. Yeah, a third shot off. Um, because of that. And, um, yeah. This is horrible. <laughs> Look at the amount of damage. That is half my health instantly gone. I am scrambling what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. My opponent is taking wasps. I think I'm taking the Vulcan here because uh, I need the chaff clear. And um, yeah, it's panic time. Now, I did also think of a neat little trick uh, to try and uh, prevent myself from uh, uh, losing to lots of rhinos in the flanks. And in retrospect, I probably, probably should employ that trick against rhinos on the front as well. I've tested various things, and uh, even though it's super expensive, I double tech some steel walls with range and with heavy target, because this way they will immediately, and for some reason this was bugged in the game as well, I just couldn't really see, because it didn't uh, rotate here, I couldn't see what the range actually is. It's super annoying, and it just plain, like, it doesn't work. I'm not sure what this bug is, but it's super annoying. Anyway, with heavy target here, at least most of these steel balls, hopefully, will target that rhino instead of the crawlers. However, my opponent already has the next trick lined up. Um, did I take? Yeah, I took the Vulcan. I put it here because I didn't want it wrecked by the scorpions. Um, I uh, was relying on arc lights and everything to get the crawlers dead. And yeah, uh, double shot in retrospect, not really what was worth here. The rhinos just go in. This trick, as you could probably see, was working out spectacularly. But even if I get all the rhinos dead now, the wasps were just going to clean up. Not that much here will survive anyway. This is just low-ranking scorpions against high-ranking, high-ranking, or nah, not high-ranking, but good-ranking. Um, uh, ah. What's it called? Uh, 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 against good ranking uh, rhinos. The name is slipping because I hate them so much. So this is permanently handled. Now you can actually see the range. Unfortunately, that's after the turn where I deployed these things. I have no idea what to do here. And this is where I say, please help. Please. I don't know what to do here. Legitimately, what are you supposed to do against this nonsense here? If you don't have lots of HP in the way, and I'm putting a lot of HP in the way, but unfortunately, these things do more damage than I have HP, faster damage than I can kill them. I probably should have sold the Vulcan here, 
but I was afraid of other pushes coming in with whatever else the enemy has. I'm putting some uh, uh, Mustangs here in order to deal with the with the wasps. Not really sure uh, uh, if they ever did anything really because, well, he can add any amount of crawlers he wants here. It's not gonna matter. Air spec to get the wasps, but one level one pack of uh, Mustangs against three level two packs of wasps. Not really happening. Another set of crawlers here. Elite marksmen on the wasps and um, yeah. Like look at this, it's instantly targeting. It's super handy in this specific situation and I don't even remotely use steel balls for anything else really. Unfortunately, as you can see, well one rhino went down as a result of the scorpions but they don't get to fire often enough. This is cool, one locked on, but it's not working under the tower debuff, not working quickly enough and I just get completely utterly demolished by this so um, if you guys have any idea whatsoever how to deal with this sort of rhino shenanigans please help because I officially have no freaking clue why not everybody plays this and wins this with every pos possible sort of opponent even if I have higher ranking scorpions here he can just hit the photon button and double the health of these rhinos he's not even mobile beaconing they're just going through killing absolutely everything what can you do against this what would you do if you were in this position say last turn I think you definitely sell that Vulcan and do whatever you want here um I could only imagine putting some crawlers and some steel balls here in a hope to get these rhinos down and that is probably what I should do. The only other alternative that I even remotely can imagine is missile, missile, missile and uh, put some bigger scorpions in. Well, I guess there's a third option um, that is the one I originally wanted to talk about. Uh, that would basically be rhino, 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 explode, boom. I have no other idea how to handle this. I'm pretty... I want to use this trick more against rhinos in the flanks. It gets more effective because these steel boys will of course also level a lot. But uh, yeah. Does that also work for the front? I would have to test and I might do that. But yeah, this was an absolutely horrible defeat entirely based off rhinos. I am closing in on 200 hours in the game. And I still have no idea how to effectively counter aggro with rhinos.